In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with y'all a stock that is set to explode tomorrow and the details to look out for. We're also going to look at the overall markets once again to get y'all ready as always. All right, y'all, let's dive into the charts. Right off the bat, we got the NASDAQ. And so far, the market gave us dojis all right after big moves it is not surprising for the market to give us a whole lot of nothing it's annoying i know it's frustrating right we don't like these small little candles right there we don't we don't like those but they're part of the market we got some we got a lot over here right but that was before the big move and today we got one and right now the bulls are still in control I'm not bearish on the market at all. I'm really, really not. Um, I believe a continuation is around the corner. I believe the continuation is there. Um, the high that I see for this week, 20,000 might be a little too much. I think that's like, that's something that we might see on Monday. All right. Um, but for tomorrow, Friday, I think 18,000 um 18 no 19,850 is ideal all right watch for this candle to get that big like this tomorrow i think it could happen we did they announce the ppi report which is like another inflation report to look out for and there they are these are the expectations i'm sure yeah y'all can see y'all can see over here so y'all can see here ppi year to year actual for may the forecast was at 2.5 and the actual number came out to be cooler than expected which is good for the markets all right so that's another reason why i not switched my stance on that now let's look at the stock that is setting up for an explosion that stock is adobe and Adobe had earnings today. Adobe got demolished for quite some time. I'm going to clean up the charts and we're going to zoom out right here. So it's been down. It's been down from the highs of 650 to 434, a 32% drop. And so far, it's about to open right here, right where the gap is um, beginning right there if we go on to the five minutes the setup is almost perfect almost what i want y'all to pay very close attention to we might see a little might see a little drop down here the market might play games just to just to shake off some people first before we continue higher the gap goes all the way up to it goes all the way up to 568 bucks. I obviously don't think we're going to make that big of a move in one day. That will be, that's just outrageous. And it's just too, it will be too greedy for me to expect something like that. All right. But a move up to 540 wouldn't surprise me. Those contracts are going to get annihilated, especially the out of the money contracts, like the really far out of the money contracts. Obviously, the 500 calls, those ones are going to go up to, they're going to be worth like three grand out the gates, right? Um, the, the ROI will be around 150%, maybe, maybe even 200% on any of these contracts that are in the money right here. All right, any of those contracts so keep your eyes out for the 540 calls that one will be up by a little bit but the longer it plays games before pushing higher around like 9 30 the more um the bigger the roi potential would be for that specific day i will be watching it uh set an alert right here at 533 and patiently wait for it to rank i think it could make a big big move all right now let's do an update on another stock yesterday yesterday i gave you guys i pretty much gave you all the semiconductor um sector all right and the one specifically that i gave y'all was smh which 
I do have still. I do have SMH, all right? I bought calls right here, which I shared with you in yesterday's video. If you haven't watched it, I'm going to pin it at the top right section of this video. That way, I can go see it. So, I bought calls here. Sold. I sold here. I sold here. Just to get it back here at the close. All right. I think it still got room to go. I think it still has room to push. The daily chart is looking nice. I wouldn't short it. Like if I want to short this thing. Ideally, I want it to go up really, really, really fast. And we haven't seen the vertical move. Let me zoom out a bit. It's not super vertical. It's getting overbought, but it's really not like, like eye popping or parabolic. It's not, it's not that way yet. But it's getting really, really close. And when it gets up there, I will be looking to actually short. I will, well, first, I will be looking to close my calls, close my call, my long position. And then try to short this thing back down. Um, the top of this thing might be... Again, it depends on the pace. It depends on the pace. But for the sake of this video, I'm still bullish on it. And I do think that we're going to get to 275. We didn't get there today, but I think we can get there tomorrow. I think. All right. Usually, again, if you if you've been watching these videos, you know that sometimes I'm like 24 hours. The price target maybe 24 hours too early. All right. So again, we shift it sideways. As long as it continues to behave, right? If the price of SMH ended up here, for example, I wouldn't have re-entered with calls. I would have waited for new structure to appear, but we got a structure right there. Um, after two retests of support at 264, which was again, another reason why I wanted to get back in it. All right. Now, the other stock that I shared with you was MU and MU congratulations to anybody who made money on this one. This one was a lot more generous than SMH. Um, it didn't quite go all the way up to 147, but there was money to be made to the long side. Like the contract went up by 150% from that dip all the way up to that high. So if you caught that, congratulations. I still believe that we're going to get to 147. So I'm going to have to shift that one also to the right. All right. Now. Um, let's do an update on a stock that I haven't talked about in a while. Target. It's been a really, really long time since I've discussed Target. And ever since it had this big push up here, like it went way beyond. Like the last time I shared this one, I shared it because of a small ascending triangle from here. That's why I shared it. I told you I'll watch it for a move up to 151. And it didn't just get to 151, it went all the way up to 155. And then pull back. Right now, it's looking kind of vulnerable, especially on the weekly chart. The bears are still in control of this thing. And, um, and next week, next week, if we start seeing some turbulence, like if there is, if the market breaks trend and we see the NASDAQ and the SPY reverse, this one is going to take a massive hit. All right. So as of right now, it's all about how long is it going to go sideways? And when are the NASDAQ and, Q and, and the SPY going to start pulling back, right? These are the two um, variables that are in my mind when I look at targets, because it's looking really, really weak right now. It's not showing any type of, of bounce on the, on the big time frames. It's really not. And also that gap at the bottom worries me still so just something to keep something to keep in mind i'm um, the last stock to discuss in today's video is starbucks and starbucks starbucks is still up trending it's making higher lows meaning like the this is a higher low this is a higher low and it looks like it wants to do it again i want you all to set an alert this is this could be a good opportunity for tomorrow Set an alert right at 81. And patiently wait for it to ring. If it shows a structure, kind of like what it did today, that would be 
a lot easier again this is the structure for the day with an entry right here for the day trading opportunity right there it didn't go all the way to as high as it's supposed to go but maybe a stalling for a bigger move later all right but just set your alerts there and patiently wait the gap on the left is going to get filled eventually maybe even by the 21st of june maybe maybe i don't know yet all right that's what we need to wait for structure to find that out so my very honest thoughts on all of the stocks and that is the end of the video do not forget to annihilate the like button as always I make these videos from sunday to thursday at exactly 10 p.m eastern time so definitely click on that subscribe button and click on that notification bell that way you don't miss out on future uploads if you'd like to be part of a private Discord community where you can get all of this information in real time, including the details of the contracts that I buy, when I buy them, and most importantly, the reason why I take the trades that I take to begin with. That way, you get to learn along the way. You can find that as the first link in the description of the video below. Um, if you haven't found me on social media yet, you can find me at Paul Nguma and Epinology Lab on Instagram and on X. And lastly, to get some free stocks with Weeble, you can use the third link in the description of the video below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Pedanology Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in Sunday night's video.